Folks, I'm Demonac, and it's Hearthstone Ranked time. All right, last night of the Ranked season continues. I've got about an hour left to go. That's assuming that it'll close out the season for me at 12 midnight, my time zone. I have no idea when it actually ends like that, but... I just advanced from rank 9 to 8, and I'm currently on a win streak, which is about to be shattered by a druid called Stay Scheming, most likely. Although I'm certainly going to try and keep it going. You are a good starting hand card. You are a good starting hand card. You are the opposite, and you, against a druid, I'm not going to keep you. I have seen a murloc druid around this rank, so it's possible. Murlocs are a big part of what Fan of Knives is in here for. Murlocs and totems and paladins. Oh my. Um, coin out the knife juggler, but I don't have anything to follow him with. I don't feel like it's worthwhile. I think I should save that. It's a, it's a, it's a gamble. Because if I play him and there's no claw, then guess what? He gets to be awesome. But uh, Okay, that's pretty lame. Okay, if I backstab him, I can play the Defias. That works okay. I wonder. It's so tempting to try and frig with this in such a manner that I get the Knife Juggler out before the Defias to get that free damage, but it's not worth the amount of effort we're talking about. Unless he had, like, t if he had two creatures with one toughness out there, it might be worth it, but it's so not. It really, oh, really man, isn't. Absolutely. So I think I should just backstab him, defies, and I still have my coin. I am risking him drawing a, a bonus card from it, but it's a risk i got to take. By the way, if I start eating an apple at some point here, it's going to interfere with my talking. It's not because I'm an asshole, which is generally the trope. When you see someone eating an apple, they're usually trying to be an asshole. Like, when it's on when it's on camera. I don't mean, like, for real life. But I mean, like, in a show, you see someone eating an apple, it's usually to demonstrate how nonchalant they are and makes them look like an asshole. That's not what I'm doing. It's just I haven't eaten that much today, and I don't want to sit around and cook until I've, I've run out my hour here. So, what is he innervating to... Oh, there he is using. Okay, so he used Wrath and an Innervate to blow up all my guys. Fair enough. That does sort of keep him alive to maybe draw him more cards. But not this turn. He's been unlucky on that. Which is good. So I could coin SI7, finish him, and guarantee no more cards come out. Or I could coin into Yeti, which would actually use the mana from the coin, which would be pretty good. Man. That is a tough choice. I'm going to be able to Yeti next turn anyway. I think killing him is probably better. My opponent doesn't have that many cards. He spent one on Innervate, which was kind of a wasted Innervate. Like he used an Innervate and the non-card drawing version of Wrath to get rid of my one card, effectively. Mm. So I think I'm going to come out ahead if I just use my coin somewhat spuriously to terminate that guy and just make sure he doesn't draw any extra cards from him. I don't think he even got the, the initial one. Usually whenever somebody plays that against me, they draw a card the first turn. He did not that time. Apple. Oh my god. Hmm. So on one hand, he used both Innervates already. One of them kind of wasted. So he has, like, no cards. On the other hand, that is a 4-5 and then another 4-5. That is rough. I wonder. I'm just going to plow on ahead, as is planned. Next turn, I'll see after whatever he does. Because he's probably going to use him for control a little bit. Or not. Well, damn. No, he still is. Okay. I'll finish him off somehow. Oh, 
so many options. I think I'm going to eviscerate this. Doesn't matter if it's for two or four, because I'm still going to have to hit it with my Yeti. But then he'll just have this alive, and he can use it to kill the Yeti. But I'm going to have other, some other creature on the board, probably a Harvest Golem. We'll just go from there. I'm tempted to do the Knife Juggler instead of the Harvest Golem, though. I don't know. Ah, let's see. It is a weak yeti. He can just kung fu the yeti, but then he's kung fuing a yeti, and you're kind of losing at that. Like you're losing in that deal somewhat, even though you're winning on card advantage. Ow! That is not what I wanted to see at all. Silence is one of the many things I don't have in this deck, which sucks. Okay, so I think I'm going to make a dagger. I play the knife dragon, and this guy will be able to attack right away and at least so many cause, cause him to reveal his second form. I'm going to go all DBZ on my ass. I'll have an interesting choice if the one damage hits him. Because now I could stab him. Take four, but it would transform him, and then I could hit him for two. I think I'm going to do that, even though I hate to. This, Karen, pretty much single, Karen and that druid easily got back the card advantage that I was gaining from his innervates, so it, that actually worked out just fine for him. Okay, he's willing to clear the board. Of course, he still has five mana to play something with. Which doesn't bode well. That could have been worse. Okay. I was expecting worse than that. That That's that's livable. Well, I'm going to take damage from stabbing her, but I'll end up with some forces here. Ha, this guy's toast. Here we go. So now I need to start drawing big things, which means I'm probably not going to. But I've already drawn a lot of small things. It's worked out pretty well so far that way. I need to start drawing my bigger cards, the ones that are meant to combat this, like, druidy craziness. Literally very close to the least useful thing I could possibly have drawn in that instant. So that's very annoying. My eyes are open. Up till then we were kind of going back and forth. Ugh. I need to draw a big minion. I don't even know if that qualifies at this point. I don't even know if I want to shadow step him. It seems like a bad idea to give my opponent so many one ones at this stage. He could have a roar and just like run over me. Time's up. Let's do this. Here we go. I do really like killing one of the whelps if possible because it makes it so much harder for the opponent. Like the opponent can't just use his two whelps to finish him; they have to use something else. Well played. Oh crap! You did have the war. Damn it! 
There goes my winning. He wasn't even squelched. That was the real problem there. Yeah. Karen, Karen Bloodhoof owned me pretty good, though. I didn't have a good way around the druid either, but... Yeah. It took so many resources to get rid of him because I don't have room for silence in my deck. I have to take out something even more. And I've already taken out an assassinate. And I, one backstab is pretty intentional because that just between the backstab, the coin if I go second, the two shadow steps, I have a lot of chances to trigger off an early game defiance. And I also have four one-cost two-one guys that are useful in various ways later in the game. So that all those things I have are a lot of things to trigger off combo. Too expensive, too expensive. I don't really want any of these cards in my starting hand. Please give me some cheap things. Although all the two-ones are not very good against a mage either. These are pretty good against a mage. I might be too slow though. If she has a fast mage start, I might just be doomed. Yet. The light protects me. A wiser man might have quit while I was ahead. I'm gonna go back like down a rank. Shields up. Yeah, there's a lot of powers on a one one you got there. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. You have a, you have some army, and I sure don't. Make a dagger, stab her. Hmm. I got one mana left to play him, so he'll have charge. I, I'm gonna have to attack with this though. There's no way around it. I've got to get rid of that thing. Here we go. She's not making a lot of progress here. They both have three toughness. I don't know what I can do about that. Wanna blow something up? Oh, man. That was very weird. There were so many targets in play, and he didn't hit any of them. It was, the odds were in her favor. I mean, he, he, he wasn't going to kill her two, her three threes. There were too many targets, but... Oh. I'm losing too much health. My opponent has too much army. This is not working out. Her mid game is bound to be stronger than mine. The Yetis help. The Yetis have helped my mid game a lot. Mm. I don't know. Taking out the Azure Drake seems insane. I already took one out, and that seems insane. It's a 4-4 four, for four, 5. It draws me a card. So what it's to do? it's to kind do? of a free 4-4. Four, four. Of course, it's also a 5-cost 4-4 four, four, if you look at it the other way. It's free because it doesn't cost me a card. But I'm paying 5 mana for a 4-4 four, four creature, and I could get something bigger for that price, like if I was playing the Mercenary instead, or it just 
could let me have another assassinate back. I don't know. I need to have a lot of minions in here, though. Well, she's having a hard time deciding what to do about him, too. I might be killing one of these guys and then shadow-stepping the Eddie. If he comes back out for two mana and he'd be fully healed. Ow. Oh, don't... Really wish I had the silence. If I could silence him... No, he wouldn't be able to kill one of those guys then. Wouldn't work out. But, uh... So, if I shadow step, I can replay him for two. So shadow step him, eviscerate this. Cause I, my health is low, I've got to kill that stuff. And then replay the Yeti and the Harvest Golem. I think that's the best I can do. I miscounted my mana somehow. Oh yeah, I wasn't counting the two mana for the Eviscerate. Duh. Okay. Good for me, being unable to count. I should have played this instead, although then this wouldn't be a surprise. This isn't the big surprise card, it's just like... Uh, that could have gone worse. I do have to play for board control because my health is way low. Let the pain speak to me. I think my job at this point, I just gotta play for board control until I can get it. I do have more cards, and this is gonna help. Play this, I abusive sergeant him. Kill that. It does mean this guy can go crazy and draw cards, but she can shoot him to draw cards anyway. If I don't play this, Abusive Sergeant, kill that. This guy's still going to be out there to draw cards, though. So many options. I could play these two, which would be more forces. Maybe I should do that. And save this. Grind cards is good. <sighs> yeah, maybe I should do that. Yetis and Harvest Golems are what you need to try and get through against the mage, though. Something like that. Because all the 2-2s two and 2-1s two die too easily. Interesting. It does make sense. Depopulate the world! Do I Harvest Golem or Dagger... Uh, definitely Harvest Golem. I need to get the forces out. He can be a surprise. Dagger. Surprise! Get rid of something, especially with the backstab. That's actually a lot of surprise killing. Although, it, it probably only adds up to the same as one big surprise killing card, but if she played numerous minions, I could actually kill a surprising amount of small minions. Oh, man. Get back card advantage. Mostly from the flame strike. Damn! I would have liked if he was alive. It also made my back step better. I don't want to stab the Yeti. With that thing, backstab SI7 would have killed the Yeti. It would have been awesome with the spell damage, but I don't have that now. I'm going to have to lose something to kill the Yeti, and I don't want to stab him, because it's... My life total is already too low. Ah, 
this guy's toast. Here we go. That 15 against a mage in constructed, I just can't afford that 4 damage. Even though it would keep my 2 1 guy alive and do an extra 2 damage to her. She's not going to burn me down yet. That's a good sign, I guess. Is there a... Not is there a... I don't know if I want to play him. Yeah, surprise damage is how you win. I'm doing this. Yeah, I, d I don't think I want to you know, play him. Still got one shadow step left in here, which would double his damage. And I, I might have to play him to kill something bigger, but I'm not playing him to kill a 3-3. Get my point 2 one one This doesn't help. This also doesn't help, though. Damn it. Oh, I'm so screwed. Not the cards I needed. I don't think I've had a Sarah save me once yet. I think every time that I get her and I have and the game goes long enough that I could play her, my opponent always like concedes or something. This time for sure. Uh oh. Damn it. That's not helping. She's trying to decide. Should she try and finish me? She she doesn't. I'm guessing she doesn't have lethal damage. Be wrong. Ah, okay, that's the plan. I'm still on toast. I can't do it in one card. Really? It doesn't matter at this point. I can't do that kind of damage fast enough. Whenever the game goes long, I don't get the cards that I put in here for when the game goes long. It's kind of messed up. <sighs> a little while there, it looked like I had a chance. Down a rank. Oh, come on. Or claw my way back up to eight. It would have been smarter to stop when, as soon as I lost my winning streak there, at, and I was still at eight. But nope. I had to try and get farther. Microphone's blocking my clock. Your soul shall be mine! Watch your back. We're not a starting hand card. I'm still getting the rank 8 guys. Unlucky matchmaking. Better play him in case my opponent gets something fast. If he has a mortal coil, it's going to be annoying, but... If he has like a flame imp or something, I'd rather have this guy out. He's thinking about it almost as if it was a flame imp. Why do you no, okay. That's an obvious play. Why are you even thinking about that? Oh, okay. No, pretty strong. Here we go. 
At least if this turns into a crazy Murloc rush, I can Phantom Knives next turn. But if he has the right Murlocs, Phantom Knives might not be enough. That's not the right Murlocs. That is fine. The proposal is acceptable. I better save my dagger. Okay, so I'm up on cards for now. He's a warlock, he can easily get it back. Blood Imp. Blood Imp after the Fan of Knives, and that guy after the Fan of Knives. Nice job drawing it out. This is our town, scrub. Yeah, beat it. We'll blood this guy and hit him for an extra 4 damage. Now it would force him to trade for this. Although he might kill it with something else. Or I could just trade him for that. I don't want to put the cold blood right now on one of the other guys, though. And then maybe save it and try and cold blood the children. Yet. I only have one cold blood. It's not worth wasting it on this. Nothing, really. That is weird. If he doesn't have anything in play to kill it with, I'm tempted to try and put the cold blood on this guy and hit for oh. damage earlier. He must have stuff to deal with this, these things, though. I'd really like to, if the Yeti is undamaged, put it on the Yeti and attack. I'm still gonna hold off on it for surprise purposes. You looking at me? Probably wrong, but it feels like three times out of four this is the right move. You're gonna cold light Oracle this early? What the heck are you trying to draw? Of course, I have all my legends in my hand now. It means the game's I'm probably gonna get screwed before I get to that point. Really? The pure beatdown? Really? That is interesting, boy. I can do so much damage. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, 16. So many it's not lethal. It's like 17 or whatever. So now we're gonna go with uh, killing a lot of his forces. Put this apple on your head. I can't decide about playing the acidus. I feel like he's building up to an AOE, so I should save this. But it'd be really nice if we killed that. I'm going to have less stuff because I'm going to use something to kill him because I'm not winning this turn. Yeah, let, let's try and go for the board clear. I should have killed him first. What am I thinking? That was so stupid. Why did I do it that way? Okay, well, in that case, I'm going to stab you. Change of plans. Back of the giant super yeti. If he does AoE and wipe my forces, at least I have backup plans now that I've actually drawn them this game. Really? The thing is a really strong hoser against other warlocks, but I find it to be such a horribly, horribly, monstrously bad card. If you don't use that cheese. Ah! So you're just dead, aren't you? Ten, fifteen, yeah.
get at me. Ha, this guy's toast. Hooray! Not needing the apple to look like an asshole, I'm actually hungry. I need one more net win. Like one more win more than I have lot than I get losses in the following games to get back that other rank. And I'm unlikely to get to seven this time. Even if I win two games in a row here, we're running out of time. Valir versus Valir. Mirror match. We know how much I love those. I will be your death. You get to sound like a moron too. Uh, better keep the early game at this rate, because might need the two damage to kill something. If I was going second, that would probably be a dumb play, but going first, it's kind of important to have something out there, too, so she can't just play a knife juggler with impunity. Well, if she coins out a 2-3, that would work well. No, okay. She's just playing to stab it on her turn, which is fine. Here we go. That's how it goes. Off to an early lead that is not worth the tissue paper it is clean printed on. Oh boy. Well, that beats him up pretty good. If I stab it, then eviscerate for two, oh, it would go down to a 2-1. How good a shape am I really in, though? He probably just trades the 2-1 for mine. Now, I think I'm just going to attack and let, let her do the attacking to get rid of my guy. And, yeah, I'm going to play the no-combo SI7 agent. I think it's stupid not to. <laughs> he wins against that thing, unless anything gets modified. He's just pretty good. And I'm going to save that in case I need... I probably need that two mana for something next turn. Doing one damage to her, not worth it. And stabbing this in advance seems a little silly. Because it really depends what she's doing with them. Deadly poison, not good, but I can blow it up. Ow. So I'm getting ahead on damage. Uh, this can still. There are so many ways this can like go either way. Here we go. And I am actually going to eviscerate this piece of junk just to keep the advantage there. Probably stupid. Put that out on the table, but it me makes it a lot harder for her to kill this. And she's behind on health, so the impetus is on her. She could easily just have a card to kill it. She could just have an eviscerator or something. Yeah. Or backstab or anything. Yeah, okay. I used my co my non-combo eviscerate forced her to use hers, so I guess that's okay. Feels like a lot of games gone by and we're, we're so, so early, and I don't have anything good. This is not good. I think I need to waste the Fan of Knives. Try and get me another card. Oh, awesome. Probably should just be patient and just like play the dagger and stab and just wait. Because I know I've got good six cost stuff coming, but man, I wanted to get something out there. And now I'm okay. Now I'm going to be glad to have this guy because I'm going to use a bubble to kill that. And. And now I'm getting damage out of this guy if I keep using bubbles to kill things. Letters. Ha, 
This guy's toast. Ah! Oh, that hurts more. Damn it. Yeah, he's pretty good. I think I'm gonna save him. Let's just play the Yeti and see what happens. I want to start drawing my big legends now. Had them uselessly that other game. If the game goes long enough, I like don't need them. It, it seems to always be how it goes. When it goes long enough and I do need them, I don't have them. That's very poor level. That's really bad. Damn it. Now our life total is have actually equalized, and she has an army, and I've got, like, a squad. Ragnaros? Well, you'll be there for next turn. I think maybe start doing beatdown, force her to deal with it, stab this guy. No, I should go for board control. I can stab this guy, kill that. I know I've got a Sarah coming. Board control will be good. To no friend. Sarah will probably get assassinated, but at least she'll give me one abnormally good card first, they as well as eating an assassinate. That was predictable. Uh, this is not good. That's not good for the long term. Man. Damn you. Kind of knives. Not gonna do anything super good. No. Okay. I dream and the world turns. Yes, we stab this. And hope that my opponent can't just kill me next turn. Which she might be able to. Rogue with 9 mana and 4 damage already on the table. Do 16. This is also not one of the cards I would have preferred. Sap? Really? Sap is very inexpensive. Late game it functions kind of like an assassinate. But... I don't know. My shield for Argus. Ow. This is all pretty bad. I think I'm screwed. If I had drawn, like, the good Isera card, like, do five damage to everything, or the better sap, or some of the other things could have been great, but I don't think I can do it. If I assassinate him, backstab him, fan of knives, there won't be much damage on the table. But that takes all my mana and no yeti. Play the Yeti, so three, six, no, I can't, it's not, it doesn't work. And I can't play him. Awesome. I'm, I was all, I'm almost certainly dead anyway, like the sap was just, was better than an assassinate in that case, because it's such an expensive thing with no battle cry. That's why I don't play Saps, actually. So many of the things you might want to get rid of have a battle cry anyway. My shield uh. for Argus. There's really no way out of this situation. I don't think there's anything I could draw that will do it. No. I don't have vanishes in here, and even if I did, this is too expensive to draw a vanish. Damn it. Put your 
on your head. Ha, this guy's toast. Here we go. <sighs> Digging a deeper and deeper hole. So it's 11.44 my time. I have one more, definitely time for one more game, but I don't know if I'm going to have time for two more games to try and, even if I win this one. If I lose this one, I'll give up. Which I should have done after winning the thing there. I wanted to try and do better for you, though. For you, because... That's what this is for. But no, I failed. Your soul shall be mine. What? Let's say if I win this game, then I'll try for one more. We'll see what it happens when it gets to midnight. I don't think it'll end right away, but I don't know when it will. Uh, too expensive. Wow. I guess I'll keep these guys. Odd, not necessarily a great starting hand. Uh, that that helps. That increases my odds that I'll be able to do things well. Uh, Hmm. Stupid noom. So, if I don't do anything next turn, I could knife juggler, coin, abusive sergeant, and get a free point of damage. I'm not sure if that's actually advantageous, though. Let's just do this. It'd be an easy decision if he had a mortal coil. Mortal coil would counter my start very well. He might just draw a card though. Yep, there's a Murloc that needs to die. There's another Murloc that needs to die. Put these guys out, they're going to get killed. Next turn I'd be able to play one, coin out the other. So if I just kill that and then eviscerate mm. the other one. Or kill that and stab him, and I can still eviscerate this guy later. They don't gain toughness. And even if he gains toughness from another Murloc, I should still be able to somehow combo eviscerate it. So maybe we'll do that. Suffer my wrath! Although I'm taking a buttload of damage from this leper. One mana did six damage to me. I might have to start playing them. They're so obnoxious. I don't know. It's a tough call. Unlike my abusive sergeants, who they'd probably be replacing, they can't help me kill a four toughness thing late, like early or late in the game. Oh, that is awesome. Having it sooner would have been more awesome, but I'll take it. Put this apple on your head. Put this apple on your head. Swing and a miss. Here we Damn. Go. This is when he hellfires and then I'm sad. This would be a great turn for a hellfire would put him way, way ahead in the game overall. Nope. Ah, uh, that'll help, though. If I could keep both of them alive, and then I drew, like, a uh, Defias, I could have gone crazy next turn. Uh, Yeti's pretty good, though. That's a, I'll take that. He spent a lot of stuff killing them, so that's okay. So much card advantage from just being a warlock. Okay. Interesting. 
I'm gonna hang on to that for now. Not spending all my mana that turn, kind of annoying, but the situation overall is fine. Except for his continuous card drawing. Something ugly is going to happen soon. I wonder. Trying to decide whether or not to play a Doom Guard or what. <laughs> ah, okay. Shadowbolt? No. Super tough Murlocs. Interesting. I have to take three to stab this guy and finish him off. But then life will get better, I think. Although then I'm gonna be very low. I don't see a way around it. This is the way to, this seems like the way to go. Here we go. Next turn, I could shadow set the Eddie after attacking. More likely, like, this is going to die, is what I'm assuming. But, I mean, there are also tricks I can do if I shadow step this after attacking, replay it. I start looking for lethal. I'm not going to have it, but I'm going to. It's close. My opponent might have lethal on me, because I only have 12 hit points. But he is looking at. Attacking stuff that is not me, strongly considering. Which is interesting. If he hit that, he must have a mortal coil in his hand. Just going for the kill. That is, um, that is a little scary. I think I can do 17. Ah, that doesn't help either. Damn that. Okay. This guy can't charge because I don't have a weapon right now. If I make a weapon and kill her, I'm almost certainly dead. So that's a pretty low life total. So I can hit for eight. Tell My opponent would have I'm nine sure. health left. If I shadow step this guy, play him again, that does four for four mana. And this would do another four. That's 16 damage. Because I don't have a dagger out, I can't get the kill. And this guy doesn't have charge, so I can't get the kill. Oh, man. Eight. Dagger is nine. Ten, eleven. Fifteen. And that's with five mana spent. This doesn't do it. So I can play this guy. If I can't get the kill this turn, I can play this guy. And it's still that extra toughness on him makes him hard to kill. Damn it. I'm gonna die from it, but I think I have gotta take her out. Wait, that was not the way to do things. Oh, I ran out of time to play him again. Ugh, guaranteed loss now. God damn it. Someone said that you can, like, they turn green right away so you can play them again. I've tried that in a previous game. I could not select the thing to, like, play it as it was until it finally got to my hand. I only have six hit points. It's going to be so easy to take down. I can't even just play Ragnaros because he'll shoot one of those random things and I'll die. I can't stab them. I have to stab them. I kind of need to draw a fan of knives, basically. Nope. If I go down to four hit points, there are so many, like, things he can do to just kill me. See what else I can do, though. Here we go. 
I might have, if I'd done, if this had gone off properly, then I might have been in a position to get lethal damage, but no. Uh, just waiting for death. Now a war leader would do it, another bluegill would do it, although I think he's already done that. No. That's close. There we go. Stupid animations. Like I know I'm taking too much time for thinking, but there needs to—they need to have some kind of a time bank thing because you spend all that time thinking. It's not like every turn, or it shouldn't be. If it's every turn, obviously you're doing something wrong. You deserve less time, but uh, I think that's going to have to be a video. The chance—it's going to take way too long for me to climb back up there. So, well, we'll see you next season. Ending at rank 9 here, I guess. Bye. Show some love to the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demon Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.